So we were out on a hiking trip in the Boundary Waters um, where we hike through the Boundary Waters rather than canoeing. And uh, it was gonna be about a five day trip. And we got up north of Ely on this remote entry point into the Boundary Waters, uh, loaded all of our gear on our backs and headed out onto the trail. Maybe about a mile into the trip, um, we came across a young gentleman that appeared to be in some type of duress because he was you know, yelling for help. I think he was probably a couple hundred feet down the trail from us. And so when he yelled out, I immediately stopped. I was in front and Steve was behind me. And uh, then I just made an observation and I could see that he was bleeding. There was blood going down his leg. His uh, shorts were saturated with blood. And uh, then I saw in his hand that he was carrying a handgun. And so we had asked him what happened. And he said that he had sh accidentally shot himself. And uh, so before we approached him, we asked him just to throw the handgun to the, to the ground in which he complied right away. And so we approached him and talked to him quick and just had to make a quick assessment on whether or not we were gonna be able to treat him on the trail right where we were. Um, I think we checked and we didn't have cell phone coverage. We ended up making the decision to haul him out. So I think Steve grabbed the handgun and tucked it into one of our backpacks. I don't remember which one, make sure it was safe. And, and then, uh, yeah, we just kind of fireman carried or assisted him out of the woods. So we ended up getting to the parking lot. We found his vehicle and we had him lay down in the back of his vehicle. I just so happened to carry a small first aid kit in my truck. And then we had a small kit, I think, with us, but not what we needed. So we ended up makeshifting some gauze pads and just to put pressure. And we determined that he had shot himself in the lower back. He was tucking his handgun into his rear waistband. We're first responders and and oftentimes there's a need for first aid and we're trained, there's requirements for that first re responder training. He obviously needed immediate medical attention. Um, I guess we're not sure how much longer he would have managed on his own um, and not sure what would have happened if, if we just didn't happen to be there that day. We had one phone that was, we were able to receive reception from where we were to make a 911 call. So we had to treat him for about 45 minutes before the ambulance arrived. Well, I think it's important to always have, especially in that area where you are on your own. And if something unfortunate happens, just to be prepared. We do always bring a small first aid kit. Um, certainly we didn't expect to find someone with a gunshot wound. Fortunately for, for all of us, including this gentleman, um, we had some first responder training and we were able to provide the assistance he needed and to me it was just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. Agreed.